Hey everyone, welcome to cubesepin.com. So this is my video on how I fully magnetized my GE GFA square one. So for these modifications, I have used 32 and 35 and 35 4 by 2 millimeter size neodymium magnets, but the quantity of magnets may vary as your magnetic strength requirements. And some more accessories that you're gonna need for doing the modification is a screwdriver and just a sticker pillar. So I have already magnetized my square one, so I will just show you how I have just did it. So let me first open the square one. So as you can see, I have just disassembled my square one. So here how the magnetic system works. So if I just move out these corners and edges from the central block on the both sides, you will see that let me focus here are one two three and four four magnets in one side and four magnets in the other side one two three four so if i just put out the caps of one of the corners that you can see that i have just put two and 35 four by two size neodymium magnets on both sides so for putting that here is the procedure to get your magnetization right so after you just you just assume that this square one don't have any magnetizations so you just slide one of the corner right here and fix the corner that should be in its own position after all the caps and in the normal cube shape state of the square one so after that you just take two magnets and put one magnet on the top and the and for the bottom you just take the second magnet and you just bring it closer to the second magnet and it will just uh, automatically polarized in its north or south pole according to this magnet and it will just have its correct polarity itself for this side magnets after you did that you just glue it the two magnets right there and after that it is just dried you just slide it the magnet a corner piece to your right side and do the same thing for this side you just put the second magnet on here top and bring the second magnet for the bottom and it will just get automatically polarized itself to the north and south pole and after that you just glue that in two pieces and this four magnets that we just put will be our master glue pieces of magnets so after you did that, that's works fine. After you did that, you keep your first magnetic pair of corner piece to the side and bring uh, your second corner piece and you just repeat the whole process, Oops. same to same in all the sides. Just like the second corner, third, fourth, all the corners will be the same. After that, you just leave it the first block piece to a side and take your second block piece and come to your first master corner piece and now as you have already glued the two magnets right there so slide the magnets magnetic corner piece right here so for by now this piece will not have any magnets because we have just only put magnets in one side of our first block so for this you just align your corners right here and as already there is one magnet right there so you just bring the second magnet and just slide it in here and glue it in and it will just automatically align to its polarity and then move it to the right and do it for the same for the rest and here for the second block your two side magnetic magnets will be done now we have just completed our both blocks top layers magnetization but for bottom layer magnetization you just simultaneously flip these two blocks just like this you just put this large block large block to your left and you just flip it right here and put one block to one side and again take your masterpiece and do the same thing you just put it here and put another magnet here another magnet right here 
and after you did that you just take your second block you just slide the in your corner piece put one magnet right here and the second magnets right here and that's it on how to magnetize the blocks now i will show you how to magnetize the m slice of the magnets just like this so before i show you the m slice magnetic modification here is a quick note since there is a little space inside this area of the square one so you might need to cut off some extra piece of plastic right here where the magnets just get attached to here so if i don't cut it then the slice will just come up like this and that will not work so i just sliced a few plastic right here and then if i just slide it in it works perfectly fine and that's for all the pieces you have to just slide a little bit of plastic from the side that goes nearby the magnet and one more thing to be noticed is that after you just put these four magnets in the blocks if you just want to put this cap right here i have just already cut out the pieces but as you can see if you have a g is if i square one there is extra some plastic outcomes right here you may have noticed so as you can see i have just cut it out all so what you have to do you have to just cut out all the remaining plastic and uh, make it plain with a file up to this pigs come out so by this pigs you just make two margin and cut off all the pieces with a knife or any blade but be careful not to cut these pieces and after that it will just get fit right here because if there is more plastic outcomes here then the plastic will prevent the gap to be get in in the gap because there will be now magnets in place of the plastic so here is how to magnetize the m slice so for magnetizing the m slice you just take your block and the part if you just keep it on plane the part which have just gone to upside there will be a small tiny peg right here in camera it cannot be shown but if you just get it close up there you can see that there is a less right here and if you just put it on with a flat screwdriver it will just come out like that so if you just put the screwdriver right here and once you hit that you just get a little pressure in that peg it will be a little hard but it will eventually just come out so once you get there you just fill it the peg and if you just successfully make this peg out so that uh, this is the peg that i was talking about then this circular block will just come apart from this uh, by mistake i have just get some loop on here and do the same for the next piece that hopefully i will be able to show you i think yes so that's how it's come out so if you make notice after before you do the modification you just put this little pulley wheel like piece on the side so that you can just make the modification a lot easier so as you can see i have just placed a lots of magnets right here so if i say i have just put in one side four 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 and four i have wanted to insert a large size magnets of one 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 to in total number of four but due to the less amount of space i have just used four of n35 four by two because that will work fine so how this works at first you just take your this block which have no magnetized and you just take two piece of magnets and just like I have shown you, you just take one magnet right here and one magnet right here and just just, just leave these two magnets simultaneously and it will just snap it on their place with their polarity corrected. So if this magnet just got a little bit down or up, you just use a plastic uh, pen or pencil 
to make it in the center so after you put this in the center you just rotate so by now here is one magnet here is one magnet and these two magnets are, are not been inserted so you just rotate this wheel 360 degree so here will be one magnetic magnet missing so you just take another one magnet and put it right here and you just glue it in and first one also been glued and by now if you just notice this magnets will not be there so if you just put another magnet right here and you just glue it and after gluing all the four magnets in this m slice if the slice you feel a little bit light then add some more magnets you have to not to do anything you just leave it one one magnets in its eyes and it will just get stuck automatically and after you are happy with the magnetic polarity strength then you just fix it to the main slice and here is how that works you just pick pull out this pulley take the piece with the little pick into this little side and just slide it in and then just push it down that goes for the second side here is the little pig and here is the little side of the square one so you just push it in and you just press and it will just work fine and after you for testing you can just attach the pulley and make it right here and you can see it has a noticeable click after every few turns and that's how to magnetize the M slice but unfortunately for the GE Z5 square one you cannot magnetize the edge pieces because if you just make notice to the inside of the piece then there is a long peak coming out straight forward from this bottom side which is just holding the stop cap and there is no any place to put out the magnet so i have just left the s magnet modifications for magnet as it is and that's how you magnetize the ge z5 square one so hope this video helped you guys to make your first ge z5 square one magnetic and be sure to share this video and subscribe to my channel bye